Welcome to Tana Commands Mastery. This is a full course teaching you everything you need to know to go from a complete beginner to a master in Tana Commands and Agents. And the best part is that this is a completely free YouTube course. I originally planned for this to be a paid course, but after reflecting, I decided that I wanted to make this free and available for everyone, for every Tana user to be able to learn from these videos, because this is a very important knowledge about using Tana. So instead of charging for this course, the knowledge is completely free. And instead you can purchase the interactive learning kit at a symbolic price as a way to support my work and to get access to all of the commands, configurations, and lesson materials that you will see in these lessons, as well as some awesome extra benefits that are included with this purchase. So you can learn more about the interactive learning kit, clicking the link in the description below or scanning the QR code that is showing up in your screen right now. Finally, this course was designed to be watched in sequence, starting from a beginner level and then moving towards more advanced features such as AI commands, agents and voice functionalities in Tana. But feel free to go back and forth or skip to a future video and follow your curiosity. So that said, I hope you learn a lot from these videos and that you can make the most out of this learning experience, regardless of which path you are choosing to follow. So let's get to it. It's time to master Tana commands. In this module, we will be covering everything you need to know about commands inside Tana. We will start with the most basic information, the definitions, examples, how to run these commands, and then we will progress into the basic commands and even the more advanced ones that use AI features. In this module, we will be using the very familiar context of meetings. Meetings are something that most of us handle every week. Some of us go through multiple ones every day. And if we're not organized with our meetings, it's very possible that we end up with something like this on the bottom right. A full agenda full of meetings that are usually unorganized, unprocessed, and you just don't have time to go back through them and actually find the useful information about any meeting that you had. And for this reason, meetings are a perfect example to demonstrate the power of commands inside Tana. Because using commands, we can extract important information from meetings, we can easily configure and categorize these meetings and make this entire process of using meetings easier and faster. And this takes us to a very important definition now, which is what is a command? So a command is an instruction for a computer to perform a specific action. So in Tana terms, a command is an action that you can design or that you can program for Tana to execute for you. And with this, we have several different possibilities of what we can do with commands in Tana. So some of the simple things that you can do are to move a meeting, to set a field value, to add a super tag, and you can even use more advanced commands such as sending prompts to large language models or even making API calls inside Tana. So the bottom line is you have this huge list of available actions that you can program Tana to make and execute for you. And this means commands are a very powerful way for you to automate annoying routine actions that you have to make. And the best part is that Tana helps you to avoid errors as using commands can oftentimes be more precise than manually going through these changes and executing these actions yourself inside Tana. So in this module, we will learn how to create these commands we will understand what are the available actions and how to actually implement them inside Tana. And as I said, in this module, we will start with the most basic examples and then move towards more elaborate ones. 
So let's start with a very basic example here where we are going to run this command that you see inside this lesson, which is the mark as done. So I'm going to click this command and as you will see, it's going to mark this meeting as done. And here in the bottom, you will see the exact command that we have just executed in this node. So if you see, this is the command that we have just clicked. And here you will see the configuration for this command. Here you will see the action that is being done by Tana. And if you click on edit configuration, we will be able to see how this command is configured. And we will cover all of this, so don't worry. But I do want to mention some very important pieces of information before we jump into the rest of this module. Here on the right, you will see this list that can help you understand how this module is structured. So the first thing is that custom commands, these command nodes are always defined using caps lock. So all of these titles are going to be in uppercase letters to help you differentiate these commands inside our module. The next important piece of information is that we are using contextual fields to explain what each of these commands does. So contextual fields are also called contextual content and they are information that we can add on these nodes that are only going to be present in specific parts of this tutorial. So this is going to help you understand what each command is doing so that you have a full vision of how these commands are configured and how to use them. Another important information is that we are using node filters. Node filters are these expressions that help us determine when this command will show up. And here we are using command filters in two different ways. So the first one is the actual utility of this node filter because a specific command of setting a done status only makes sense when this is not done, which means whenever this node is already marked as done, there's no need for this command to show up. As you can see, when we click this command and update the node, this does not show up anymore because this node is already done, which means it doesn't make sense to have a command which marks this as done. And the other second important type of information that we are using in these node filters is the lesson where this command is used. So whenever you see a reference to a lesson inside a node filter, all this means is that we are using this command in this lesson and it's only supposed to show up when we are inside this lesson node. And finally, we are going to be using two main super tags along this entire module. And they are the meeting super tag and the action item super tag. And as the lessons go by, we are going to get more familiar with these as we add more commands and as we make more actions using these super tags. And before we wrap up this introduction, let's take a quick look at all of the lessons that we will be going through in this module. So here in the Tana Commands module, we will start by going through a very basic introduction to Tana Commands. Then we will understand this concept of command nodes, which is super important for this module. Then we will move on to how to actually run these commands in Tana then we will go deeper into buttons and triggers, which are two of these different ways of running commands. And after this, we will get started with the basic AI commands in Tana. So this is where things are starting to get more advanced. So to help us, we are going to learn the Tana paste syntax. Then we will use this to build even more advanced AI commands and then wrap everything up by talking about this difference between commands, chats, and agents inside Tana. So I hope you are excited for the rest of this module, and I'll see you in the next lesson.